welcome to this lesson in this lesson we are going to learn how to rank using the excel built-in function excel has given us three functions to use in the ranking the first one is the normal rank which is now outdated but you can still use it the second one the rank.eq the third one the rank.avg to stand for average so we are going to microsoft excel and see how they work okay and see the differences even before we go there this and these give you the same result okay but this one if more than one cell has the same value it will return their rank as an average so let's go to excel and see now here we are at excel you can see some students took a test and they scored their mark now if i want to rank them i'm going to use excel rank functions now this is how they are done first you type in equals rank and then you open the parenthesis the first argument you pass in is the number in my case the first number is that one now this one is a relative referencing the second thing now in the second parameter here we are going to use absolute referencing so we are going to do like this we are going to say you rank this number in this range of numbers okay this range of numbers so instead of typing b2 that will be relative referencing to make it an absolute referencing you're going to add dollar sign before the b and another dollar sign before the two like that okay so we're saying we rank starting at b2 all the way to b b11 like that then you you close the parenthesis now you see the first argument is relative referencing the next argument is absolute referencing the third argument is the order either descending or ascending when you put there a zero it will be descending when you put in a one it will be ascending we don't want to use it right now we want it to be at its default so when you press enter you see the first student is ranked at position four okay so we want to apply the same to all the others so that we can get ranks positions for all of them so what you do see so this cell has that square at the end hold then you drag that is called out of field now you see all of them have been ranked okay and those who have same marks have been given the same rank okay and that is all about the rank function now there's one thing about this rank function it's now outdated and we have another function that was brought in to replace it and that function is called still the same to give you the same results so if we go b2 comma colon it will give you the same ranks as this one the difference is this one is the current one being used that one is updated now there's another one okay you see those who had the same marks they were given the same position so the other method which is rank.evg will not give them the same position it will give an average of the position okay so if we we, we use the same method we are ranking the max comma we want it started b to colon all the way to b11 if you press enter and you auto fill you will see those who had the same marks are now given an average instead of the same position it gives an average so it's only used the rank so that's all about ranking there's nothing else